everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenger. Welcome back to my channel and episode 19 in my master bedroom makeover. Um, I'm actually finally going to get to paint my two nightstands. So if you watched the last video, Fiasco, um, you probably remember. Hold on, let me turn this. See the red? Okay. So there was a big to do with the paint uh, not being the right color. And boy, do I have a story for you. So I had purchased this furniture restoration kit from Rustalium. Uh, and what you do is that you go to the counter and you have them add the tint. I've done that in the past and this is, um, I can't remember which video. Um, I think it was two, three years ago where I repainted Scott's dresser and my dresser with that same kit in the color I wanted, which was Kona color, uh, dark brown espresso type color. So, i make a long story short, I go to the store and um, I let the guy mix the color for me while I was picking plants. Because, <laughs> you know, it takes time, they have to get the code from the computer and all of that. And by the time I got home and started my project, it turns out it was the wrong color. So I was a little bit upset, but I understand, I make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, right? But the thing is that I had purchased that in New York State. Uh, Scott and I went to New York. When did we go to New York? I think it was two weeks ago, because uh, we do things. We, I just don't document that. And then we were in New York, and on the way back uh, in New York State, uh, right before you get to New Jersey, I purchased this at a uh, Home Depot there. So on Friday, I got lucky that I was able to leave early. Uh, for work um, and I decided you know what let me take care of this let me go to the Home Depot that's on my way home which is different to the one that I go to uh, to replace this kit and get a new one they were out of kits all right so now I'm driving all the way back home past my home to go to the Home Depot I go to on a regular basis and it was two kits left so I go to the counter and I ask my regular guy I think his name is Joey um, Joe, Joey, something like that. So I uh, go to the counter and I say to him, listen, uh, this is the issue. I need to have this replaced. The color came out all sorts of wrong. Uh, you know, he says, all right, no problem. So he gets a new kit, he gets the can, and he goes into a computer and he can't find the code for Kona. And I said, well, what's up with that? He says, I don't know. So he goes and he does something in the school, going through the back door, I guess, where he goes into the archives. I'm not sure what he did, but anyway. So he finally gets the color, he mixes it, he's all happy with himself. Meanwhile, we're joking about, you know, the guy in New York not being able to do the color right. <laughs> so, and <laughs> you should have seen his face because it was comical. So then he's like all happy with himself, he presents the can to me and he starts opening it and it's red. <laughs> He <laughs> should have seen his face. So I was like, uh, what's going on? So he did some research and it turns out, it turns out that Rustoleum is discontinuing this item. And as a result of them discontinuing this item, all of their codes in the computer got totally messed up. I don't know how, okay? But the codes got totally messed up. So when you, um, try to get one of their colors, it ends up being the wrong color, all right? As of April 2022, you will not be able to purchase this kit any longer. So I found myself in a pickle. Uh, I didn't want him to try it again on the last kit that was available, just in case somebody wanted the blue and the blue was gonna work. Um, so we went on the aisle and we looked for something that would be very similar. And lo and behold, where are my glasses? Over there, hold on. So lo and behold, we find this by Bear, which is my favorite brand of paint, uh, a semi-gloss cabinet and trim enamel. But then we had to figure out the color. So I found the color, it's called Off Broadway, and it is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it was the closest to Kona as possible. It doesn't really matter if it's the same, but I want it to be as close as possible to my bed frame, okay? So here's the color. So what am I doing today? Oh, I'm ready to paint. <laughs> 
But before I paint, there's things I need to do, which I realized as I was hurrying last time. I need to fill in the hole here, and then I gotta think about whether or not I wanna put those trims here. I have uh, this trim, this side is kind of busted. Hold on, I don't know. We'll see, I have this, I have this trim here, which is an even smaller version of the one that I have on the uh, shelves behind me. So I want to cut a piece and see what it would look like if I was adding it here. Um, but first, I need to patch those. So I have a uh, wood putty. I'm going to patch those. I'm going to do the trims. By the time it's dry, this will be dry. I can sand it and then we can start painting, okay? So you have to wait two to three hours um, in between um, coats. What I'm going to do while this is drying, I am going to empty out the bouquets behind me and only keep the tools I need uh, for the closet. And the closet is basically installing uh, bifold doors um, and fixing the rod. I think that's it. I'm trying to think what else do I need to do in the closet. Yeah, so I want I'll need the tools for that. Um, the corralling the cables, the TV cables along the wall, and then to the plug over there. That doesn't require any tool other than a hammer and a couple of nails. And then that would be it. So I'm not going to need the saw. I don't think so because I'm going to get them cut to size. And I'll still need a few things, but the majority of what's behind me has got to go back downstairs. Um, because when I'm done with those two, I have to take, uh, boy am I rambling, <laughs> I have to take Scott's old uh, nightstand out, empty it, and replace it with this. So where are his books going to go? They need to go on the shelf. Okay? Alright, let's get started. So I know I'm going to have questions as to why am I not drilling the holes for the new handles now because I don't want paint to go in them. Does that make sense? Uh, because then it will make the screw more difficult to get in. Alright, that's good. Well, that was easy. This is wood filler by the way, it's actual wood putty. Um, and this one I got to make sure I close it because if only you knew how many wood putty <laughs> I got that ended up being like a block of brick. Okay, for not closing in properly. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, if I'm drilling the holes for the two handles now, what's going to happen is that when I'm painting, paint is going to go inside the holes and that's going to um, make the screw more difficult to get in. Looks like I'm done here too. Ugh. I had to play with it, so of course now it's all messed up. Okay, it's behind the handle anyway. Um, all right, let's close this properly for once. Okay, so let's see what the handle would look like. And by the way, you see my earrings? <laughs> the little levels. Um, the gift from Angela. Thank you, Angela. The, super cute. If you know somebody who would love something like this, I'm going to put the link down below. It's an Etsy shop. It's really cool. Okay, so uh, the handle would look like this. Now, I don't know if it goes this way or that way. Huh. Looks good though, right? Um, let's go on Amazon. Okay, so on the website, I don't know if you can see, here's the handles uh, on the vertical. And this is the handle 
on horizontal, okay? So they go this way. All right, we'll put them down. Um, I don't know if I like it down, but okay. All right, so let me measure this. And I'm gonna try and see what it would look like if I put an additional trim. So the trim would go from here all the way down to here. So that's seven and a half inches. Okay, so it would go this way. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Nah, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's a first, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, this is almost dry. So we're gonna wait for this to dry and then we'll get started. So let me show you the color. Okay, and this one we verified. There we go. So that's the color, and just like the last time, it's showing a little bit of a purple to it, but it dries to a beautiful brown. So, uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna use one of those leftover. Well, actually, you know what? Okay. Mix that. I already deglossed them last week. I'm going to take that lint thing and just make sure I don't have any lint on it, only because I want a good surface. And by the way, unlike my previous um, nightstand, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go into that mom and pop shop that's in my town um, that specializes in mirrors and glass and repair of windows and all of that and I'm going to have them cut me two pieces of glass, tempered glass, to put on top that are just the right size so that way um, it won't get damaged because I plan on preserving those. Alright, let's get started. So for once, I got some good brush. This one is called Velvet Touch, a painter's choice. Um, and this is all based on my experience with working with cheap brushes. Like I said, this is the last time I'm doing anything in this room. This is the furniture and it better be good. So hopefully this will work. Okay. We're going to do coat one. Let's see how it applies. Definitely going to need more than one coat. So I know that right now it doesn't look like much, but that's because it's coat number one. And the can clearly says, first of all, the can says that you can uh, sand in between. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, but it says that you, you may need to apply more than two coats. So it looks like I'm in for two coats or more. We'll see. Well, uh, 
my hair skirt number one on the first dresser. I'm not painting the inside, there's no need for that. Uh, I did do the drawer and this is kind of dry already. I did the back, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to let it dry and what this is drying, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. Let me start the second one. I'm drinking, I posted that on uh, Instagram by the way, I'm drinking burdock root, roasted burdock root um, tea. And I was doing some research on it, I found it at the Korean store. For centuries, it's been used as a treatment for gout and arthritis. So we're going to try that and see how it feels. The other one is dry, by the way, so I'm definitely going to be able to jump straight into coat number two. I gotta tell you, this is not like that Rustoleum. The Rustoleum, as far as I remember, really uh, covered way more than this. But then again, this is white, so whatever. I'm still thinking about the glaze. I think I'm going to try the glaze. I was supposed to garden. My idea today was to wait for those to dry and when they were drying to do another video and go down in the garden and start cleaning up in preparation for spring. Which includes cutting down my roses and fertilizing them and all of this stuff and we got a major snowstorm <laughs> and as always living under a rock I have no idea I am ready for round two. Let's see how well this gets covered. So this is two coats, this is one coat. Now it's definitely taking on, um, but I will need a third one. Hopefully no fourth coat, but again, it dries super fast. This is almost dry, well actually it is dry. So I'm going to be able to do my third coat today. Um, they're going to look completely different. <laughs> I'm happy, and look at my plants. They're doing pretty good, huh? Um, no sign of distress or anything. Oh, you want to see the storm outside? Hold on. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see much because uh, the snow is on the um, screen. 
but that's about it. That's what we got. One coat, two coat. And look at the handles with the collar. They're going to look great. You can't see anything. All right. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the second coat on this one. And then I'll take a break. Uh, I'll probably have uh, a snack or something. I'll come back, do a third coat, and then I'll start cleaning up this area. So yeah, I think this is going to look really good. Well, at least it's going to look like a, uh, a unit, like a together thing. Remember, no night light or a table lamp on those uh, bedside tables. There's going to be sconces on the wall. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, I can't install them now because I have to wait to paint the room. Otherwise, I would have to remove them and all of the stuff. So I'm not going to install them now. And I'm still looking for them. I'm buying sconces that are on plugs um, because I don't know how to wire. Well, I could do it, but I don't want to mess up with electricity. So it's going to be um, sconces with a thin plug going on the wall, hopefully white, otherwise I'll have to put it behind uh, a spatial casing. So it will remove lamps from the top, so the top is going to be um, free, <laughs> basically, for books and tchotchkes and, and, you know, in my case, all sorts of stuff, Scott probably all sorts of stuff, because uh, we're both a mess, so it is what it is, but this room is coming up just the way I want it. and. Um, I'm here to show you that you can do a lot of things by yourself, okay? If you have old furniture that you can't really afford new one, paint it, okay? Paint it. Uh, even if it's white, you're going to need more than one coat, obviously, uh, but you can paint it. And you know what? This is very relaxing. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm not stressed. I'm doing this methodically. I'm, I'm you know, lost in my thoughts and uh, relaxing. So, to which they won't. <laughs> but let's be honest, I can't wait for this to be finished. Though. Okay, because it's a, it's a, um, where are we? 18, 19 episodes, so that's um, two months. Eight. Yeah, a little bit, two, two, so it's been two and a half months now <laughs> I've been doing this, so we'll see. Yeah, because I started around Christmas. Um, well, it's been three months. All right. Let me paint uh, this one. It's all dry. It dries really fast. I'm super amazed by that. Um, and then when I come back, I'll do coat number three. We'll see what it looks like. And I want to play with the glaze. Let's look at the glaze. I don't think the glaze is tinted, though it should be. Maybe like a gold or something like that. Is this the glaze? No, that's the coat. Okay, we're gonna look at the glaze. Even better, the glaze is a dark color, so that's gonna finish it off very nicely. I gotta read. I gotta read how you apply it. Um, I still think it's with a cloth. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Progress update. This is three coats. Um, and I actually like that there's some areas that are lighter. It makes it look like it's just stained wood. And this is the two coats. So the difference, three. Oh, let me pour out a little bit. Okay, so three coats, two coats. So I'm going to do the third coat on this. And I'm going to let them dry. Empty out the shelf over there. And then... Because this stuff dries super fast. I may be able to glaze today. Um, it's still early in the day. I started really early, by the way. It was about 10 o'clock when I started, and it's 5-something now. So I did let them dry a good hour in between, at least since the second coat. Yeah, I do like how it shows some wood underneath, like almost a like fake wood. Not bad. like it. like it a lot. And drawer came out pretty good. Okay, moving on. So this is three coats. 
Um, there was a little patching here and there, so that counts as four. But really, it's three coats. Um, and I like it very much. Love the top. I love that there's different shades. Um, I'm going to let them dry and cure. Obviously, they're going to cure at least 12 hours before I put the uh, final coat on it. I'm going to empty this and keep only the tools that I need for my next project and then maybe I'll put the glaze or I'll put the glaze tomorrow morning and then wait and put the rest but otherwise it's looking really really cool It's night time, so you can't really see <laughs> the colors properly. But anyway, I emptied all of this and what you see at the bottom is all the tools I'm going to need for the closet on the other side, plus the glaze, plus the top coat and that brown just in case I have some touch-up work to do tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's starting to shape up. Um, it's a long time coming, but let me show you what the handle looks like so down right oh, you can't really see okay this is what the handle is going to look like let me give you a close-up maybe you'll see better okay here we go Can you see now um, it's gonna work out great I like it very much so this particular color uh, which is kind of like a brushed brass I don't know if you see it um, it's got a bit of tarnish type I don't know I don't know what you bronze maybe is that what they call it all right so that's the color I'm looking for with regards to um, the sconces okay so I'm on the market for that I gotta look for two sconces but anyway this is all dry um, I made the mistake of painting uh, inside the grooves <laughs> for the uh, drawers so I had to scrape all of that in order for me to be able to put the drawers back in because uh, I just didn't want them running around but they I can I mean I can't really pull them right now I have to go uh, like this and then I'll have to wax the inside so that they slide a little bit better but yeah that was my mistake I make a mistake every time don't I so uh, this was easy to do. Um, I, I think it looks good. Um, I like that it's an empty space here rather than having a whole bunch of drawers, which is what we had before, so it's going to look a little bit more open. Um, the goal is probably not to have anything because all the books now are going to be in the bookshelf, so I don't need this for books, which is the problem that I had before. I had so many books <laughs> by my bedside table. Uh, I had books stacked up in every drawer when I had the uh, uh, the actual nightstand. And then when I had the glass cart, the whole bottom was all books and boxes and magazines. So now that's going to go in the bookshelf. So in here, all I need is my meds, um, you know, a, uh, um, my earplugs. Uh, what else do I need? My meds, my earplugs, my uh, hand cream, maybe a body lotion of sorts and glasses and that would be it <laughs> and that's it that's all i need and the current book i'm reading can either fit in here or i'll leave it on top um i can't wait can't wait to have the sconces and on here i'm gonna put that uh edge comb pottery plate you remember from my thrifting a couple of weeks ago it's uh, blue it's the same colors and the pots are on top it's going to look beautiful and that's going to be my, you know, um, whatever, earrings, rings, you know, stuff, air pins. Um, when I go to bed, I'll put it in there. But yeah. All right. So tomorrow I'm doing the glaze. And again, the glaze is almost black. So it's going to make this a little bit darker. And those areas that are lighter are going to be probably browner. I'm, I'm intrigued as to what the glaze is going to look on this. 
and then after the glaze is dried I will put the uh, um, coat of the protective coating and now this is gonna be really protected okay so I, I don't know whether I still need to watch for the top I kind of want to have pieces of glass on top only because it's easier to clean and um, I want to protect the tops because you know every night I have a tea and Scott always has a glass of something water you know um, tea or salsa can over there on this side um, so those need to be protected anyway so that's it um, I kind of wanted to do gardening <laughs> this weekend but we got two and a half almost three inches of snow since this morning it's probably going to be uh, almost completely melted by Monday so we'll see what happens next weekend but I'm gonna have to uh, start my seeds here I have to look at my videos from last year when I started seeds I think it was around this time and it was too early um, though I think I had some in February too so I don't want to go and do it too early because last year I ended up having crops that were kind of meh at the beginning then eventually they picked up but they, they look like you know something was wrong with the DNA so I, I want to make sure that the kitchen is at the right temperature it can't go below 50 by those windows um, and that's about it so that's gonna be next week so tomorrow I'll do that that'll be um, Friday's video for you and then that would be it so comment down below uh, let me know if you like the color again this is the same color than my bed um, my bed frame so it looks like a set even though it's not the matching um, nightstands that go with that IKEA bed Pfft, who cares uh, but at least it looks like I have a set um, and I like it I can't wait I can't wait for this room we still undecided about the color of the carpet by the way now I'm leaning gray but I'm looking at the carpet because every time I finish something I don't know if you've noticed but I vacuum man the cat she really like destroyed this carpet this you know pools like that of uh, carpet as soon as she walks up the stairs she starts clawing at the carpet and then she closes up the carpet right here because she's got a water there I don't know why animal behavior um, so I'm trying to convince Scott that uh, he's gonna pay good money for a new carpet and the cat's gonna destroy it <laughs> but he wants carpet so it is what it is I'll see you guys next time don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook at My Great Challenge. My Great Challenge gift on Etsy for t-shirts and um, mugs and aprons and all of this stuff. And then Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy for vintage finds. And that would be it. So like, share, don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.